For over a century, countries all around the world have been building their military capabilities to unreal strengths, from deadly ballistic weapons to fighter jets with unimaginable future tech. But these silent killers lay beneath the ocean's surface, and submarines have been the Navy's effective assassin for over a hundred years. They've come a long way since their first concept model. So, what's the latest in the world of submarine tech? Welcome to Insane Reality. In this episode, we're checking out all the latest loadouts in modern submarines. Okay, so where were we? Everyone is well aware the US has the best military in the world, and looking at the long list of submarines they have in stock, it's no wonder they are regarded as one of the ocean's superpowers. But it's not only the US who has some of the best and most modern submarines. Russia, North Korea, the UK, and Japan also have some very modern and very powerful submarines up their sleeve. These submarines would leave anyone shaking in their boots if they knew what and how many weapons these subs have stocked up in storage. We've separated these submarines in classes, but keep in mind that multiple ships come under the same class. They have similar designs, but there are minor variations in each of the vessels. The Seawolf Class Owned and operated by the US Navy, the Seawolf class of submarines have some serious power under its belt. The nuclear-powered sub was first built in 1989 and has been in active service since 1997, despite production ceasing in 2005. Famous for its fast attack capabilities and intelligence systems, the Seawolf class has been dubbed the most advanced fleet of submarines in the world. Developing, building, and purchasing the Seawolf class was no cheap investment for the US government either. Each unit cost around $3.5 billion, but because this fleet was built at the end of the Cold War, budget restraints meant that a limited production run of only three Seawolf submarines were ever built. The Jimmy Carter, the Seawolf, and the Connecticut. The Seawolf class is also the second most expensive submarine fleet to ever be built, behind the French SSBN Triumphant class. Combating the Soviet Union's ballistic missile submarine program was their primary objective, but the Seawolf class soon found themselves adept at destroying submarines and other craft in deep underwater combats. The hull of the submarines is constructed from HY-100 steel, which is much stronger than the steel used in the US Navy's previous submarine classes. The HY-100 steel was especially designed for the Seawolf class, making this class far stronger and more modern than any other submarines in the world at the time. At the full throttle, the Seawolf class is faster than the previously used Los Angeles class. Able to travel at 20 knots or 23 miles per hour silently, the Seawolf can open up to a maximum speed of 35 knots, roughly 40 miles per hour. When traveling at its maximum speed though, the Seawolf class is not silent, one of its main advantages. Due to its onboard nuclear reaction, the range of the Seawolf class is virtually unlimited. Although unlimited range was not unheard of at the time, it was seriously advanced because there were only a few nations that had this capability. The first ever submarine built to have unlimited range was a US submarine and it was built in the mid-50s. But today, still only six nations have nuclear-powered submarine fleets. The Seawolf class can carry some pretty serious armaments that can strike underwater, surface, air, and land targets. They're fitted with 50 UGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missiles, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, and MK-48 guided torpedoes. The Seawolf class carry almost double the amount of weapons compared to what the previously used Los Angeles class could carry. Despite being over 30 years old, the Seawolf class is still one of the best classes of submarines in our deep blue seas. It has all the technology and capabilities of submarines built 20 years later and still has the firepower to contend with the submarines of today. The Virginia class The Virginia class of submarines has 19 subs currently active in service, with another 11 being built as we speak and another 6 on order. A relatively new addition to the US Navy's fleet, the Virginia class started to be produced at the turn of the century in 2000. These submarines cost a pretty penny, with the US Navy forking out between $2.8 billion and $3.4 billion per unit. Designed to be fast and stealthy, the Virginia class of submarines have incredible intelligence gathering technology and advanced weapons systems, making it one of the most modern submarines of our time. Able to stay submerged underwater for three months at a time, the Virginia class only needs to surface to replenish its food supplies. Because this class of subs can stay submerged for such a long time, they are better equipped to hide undetected, giving them serious advantages when in combat. 
This class is expected to be in active service until 2043, but the models that haven't been built yet are predicted to be in service until 2060. With such a long lifespan, these subs need to be modern and technologically advanced to keep up with all the subs built after its time. In order to make sure these subs are modern, they have been fitted with a command and control systems module that integrates sensors, countermeasure technology, navigation, and weapon control. This integrated system is displayed on common display consoles which is user-friendly for the crewmen and officers. The Virginia class carries some powerful weapons that have proven themselves devastating in real-world combat. All the subs in this class have 12 vertical missile launch tubes, 26 Mark 48 torpedoes, 6 heavyweight torpedoes, and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles. While the speed of the Virginia class submarines isn't exactly breaking any records, it's still faster than a lot of other submarines traveling in our seas. With a top speed of 25 knots per hour, or 29 miles per hour, the Virginia class might not be outrunning the fastest subs in the ocean, but its nuclear propulsion means it has an unlimited range. Slow and steady wins the race after all, and at the end of the day, the endurance of the class is only limited to the food supply on board. With all the technology, stealth capabilities, weapons, and speed on board the Virginia-class submarines, it's no wonder it's known and feared as one of the most modern submarines in the world. The Yasin class the Yasin class once belonged to the Soviet Union Navy and now the Russian Navy. Since 1993, three submarines have been built, six are in the process of being built, and there are ten more plans to be built. Although three Yasin class submarines have been built, only one is in active service today. Featuring state-of-the-art design, the Yasin submarines can be deployed in anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, surveillance operations, and special missions. Let's take a look at some of the specs of the Yasin-class submarines. Proof that the Russians can always do it cheaper, the Yasin-class of submarines only cost the Soviet Union and the Russian government $800 million per unit, which is a lot less expensive than the American equivalents. This is another nuclear-powered submarine that has unlimited range and unlimited endurance until the food supply runs out. This submarine is not as fast as other submarines, but does have a top speed of 20 knots per hour, or 23 miles per hour. But because of its huge size, it can carry 32 anti-ship cruise missiles, or 40 anti-ship, anti-submarine, and land attack cruise missiles. Only 85 crewmen are needed to run the Yasin submarines, implying it is highly automated. The submarine comes equipped with advanced sonar technology which allows the crewmen to detect the position of enemy and allied submarines. This class of submarines can also run very quietly while underwater, giving them an advantage in battle. They can run at top speed quietly, making them hard to detect by other submarines. The Yasin class is undoubtedly one of the most advanced submarines in the world. The Russian Navy can definitely give the US Navy a run for its money with these submarines under their belt. The speed and the fact it is almost silent gives it a distinct strategic advantage when in combat. The Sierra class The Sierra class of submarines was designed and built by the Soviet Union from 1979 to 1992. It was first commissioned in 1984, and there are still two in active service today. This class is also nuclear-powered, so it has an unlimited range and unlimited endurance, once again, until the food supply runs out, of course. Famous for its speed and maneuverability, Sierra-class submarines have a variable speed that can range from 10 knots, or 11 miles per hour, to 34 knots, which is 39 miles per hour. They also have a tiny turning circle, far smaller than modern submarines in waters today. The armament carried by the Sierra class is extreme and can cause major damage to enemy ships. The Sierra class has two standard torpedo tubes and four smaller torpedo tubes. Stored in the weapons bay are SSN-21 Samson missiles, SSN-15 Starfish anti-submarines weapons, and SSN-16 Stallion depth charge weapons. The Soryu class the Soryu class of submarines is owned by the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. Designated as an attack submarines, the Soryu class can destroy targets both on land and in the sea. They have been in production since 2005, and 11 out of 12 have been completed so far. The first submarine of this class was commissioned in 2009, and there are currently 11 in active service today. 
This class has the biggest displacement tonnage of any post-war submarines used by the Japanese, weighing in at around 2,900 tons, or when submerged, an even bigger 4,200 tons. All Japanese submarines were once named after ocean currents, but the Soryu class started a new trend. Now, all Japanese subs are named after mythical creatures. Soryu means blue dragon. It's just a shame it isn't painted blue. The hull is built from high tensile steel and is covered with an anechoic coating to reduce the reflection of acoustic waves. The Soryu class is very modern. Its 11th model is the first Japanese submarine to run on lithium-ion batteries. Its range is affected by this as it can only travel 6100 nautical miles before needing a recharge. In standard miles, that is 7060. And, because of its gigantic size, it is not the fastest submarine around. Their max speed while surfaced is 13 knots, or 15 miles per hour. While submerged, however, the Soryu class submarines can get up to a top speed of 20 knots, or 23 miles per hour. These submarines are also highly automated as only 56 crewmen and 9 officers are needed to run the submarines. That comes with no surprise though considering how decked out this class is with technology. It has state-of-the-art surface and low-level air search radars, a sonar suite, a bow array, four flank arrays, and a towed array sonar. These radars give the Soryu submarines a major advantage when identifying enemy and allied submarines. Despite being very tech-heavy, this class of submarines aren't overly loaded out with a lot of weapons. It simply has 6 torpedo tubes with 30 reloads, fit for Type 89 torpedoes and harpoon missiles. When it comes to defending against enemy torpedoes, the Soryu class features ZLR-36 electronic support measure systems. Two 3-inch underwater countermeasure launcher tubes are also installed for launching acoustic device countermeasures. Although this class doesn't have heaps of weapons, its technology makes it one of the most modern subs in the world's oceans. And that's all the time we have for today's video. We hope you enjoyed taking a look at modern submarines. Please give this video a like if you learned something new and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another amazing video from Insane Reality. See you next time!